bodies of 19 people have been recovered after they fell victim to the bay's rising tide last night. 16 people have survived. The whole group, most of them believed to be Chinese nationals, were cockle picking, a trade worth millions of pounds. The tragedy in Morgan Bay was going to be the basis for Nick Broomfield's new film. How I got to work on it was a journey of coincidence that began at a rather eccentric literary festival at Hay on Wye, where I'd gone shortly after I graduated from film school. I'd heard Nick was going to be there talking about his films, and as it was those that made me want to become a filmmaker, it seemed a good place to go to for advice on how I should start my career. The plan was to give him a copy of my graduation film and hope he'd let me work on one of his. That's me lurking in the background. Good, good evening, thank you for coming. It'd be very embarrassing if you hadn't. Um, <laughs> After waiting around to talk to Nick, I finally saw my chance and went for it. I'd managed to give him a copy of my film, but never expected to hear anything. So what's your next step now? It'd be great to do something like film his documentary, like uh, The Making Of or something, I don't know. But uh, that's pretty ambitious, eh? But that's exactly what happened. Six weeks later, I got a call and was given the opportunity to work on Nick's new film, Ghosts. The job I had was to film The Making Of.